Hi everybody, it is July 30, 2020. So this storm has hit Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti. It's on its way to Florida. So be careful, Floridians, be very careful. Right now we are tracking the path of Tropical Storm Isaias as it continues to impact the Caribbean and it could affect South Florida as early as this weekend. New video showing the powerful winds bending palm trees in Puerto Rico where right now heavy rain is falling and winds are clocked up to 60 miles per hour. Tropical storm warning in effect there. Now the U.S. and British Virgin Islands included flooding and landslides a major concern. Isaias is the ninth named storm of the season. It's also the earliest named storm to begin with an I on record. Oh, an interesting factoid. So, Puerto Rico's power grid fails hours ahead of the potential arrival, potential arrival of Tropical Storm. Uh, it's caused a lot of damage. Power outages, nearly half a million without power, flooding, Okay, yeah, it's the emotional state of people is deteriorating more every day. Well, I think that's true for most people all over the world now. But, yeah, landslides, flooding. Let's take a look. Miren esto, miren, miren cómo está el irresponsable, miren esto, miren. Esto es increíble, miren, miren, miren. Como se meten como si nada. Wow, tú, no, no, viendo que hay uno ahí, mira. Ahí metió el tajón. Y mira el otro gracioso como. Well, just in case you don't know, there is a Arecibo, a harp-like facility right there, Puerto Rico. And in fact, there was a YouTube video that was posted a year ago of a shortwave um, guy who caught the frequencies from Arecibo. Work that comes from the Arecibo, Puerto Rico um, area where there's that radio telescope. And they have uh, apparently been trying also uh, some um, ionospheric eating experiments of all sorts. So what it looks like is that this signal that's on 5125 kilohertz roughly in AM mode with these two tweets, uh, sweeping tones would be coming out of uh, the Arecibo 
uh, complex in Puerto Rico. It's very, very strong, strong and actually. Very strong. Okay. These facilities are all over the world. High frequency heating from HARP, from Arecibo, from these HARP like stations, from radar, Doppler radar, NEXRAD, the next generation radar, emit powerful high frequencies. They target the ionosphere. The ionosphere is pushed up. When they release those powerful frequencies, the ionosphere comes shooting back down with extremely low frequencies and they can cause ha oh, they can cause cyclones and earthquakes and a whole lot of very destructive weather very destructive weather and unfortunately Dominican Republic I really have, all right, a whole herd washed away. Puerto Rico. A dam in Puerto Rico, not doing too well. I will link below to everything if you want to check it out, but <laughs> you know, Okay, this is the tropical storm, really? All right. I, I don't, it's, what do you say? I, it's, the destruction is so, the, the scale of destruction is so unbelievable now um, because we can't get through to people it's only going to continue I didn't know my mic was on when I said, oh, God, but, oh, well, transformer blows. Captado en vida. Let's just say our infrastructure is failing us. And you know, these electromagnetic frequencies could cause transformers to blow. Well, um, I'll link below, you know, tropical storm. I say, I, Isis, I, whatever. Based on what I've seen, well, it's obviously manufactured, but it doesn't, I can't get um, tropical tidbit, tidbits to work. I got it to work through one uh, long loop of a forecast and it showed the storm going. It didn't take a direct hit. <coughs> I'm Florida, but oh, good. Okay. So, let me. What is the tracking on this? Let's play it out. Up. Oh, see? 
All right. Okay. This has been going on way too long today. This is 240 hours. The longest tracking I could do. This is July 29. But let's just watch this tracking. You'll see how it is being superheated. All of that red. Yes, high frequencies. And it is blowing this thing up, boy, magnificently. So, here it is on the 29th, and it's, wow, it looks like it is traveling down south. And, well, somewhat breaking up, but they keep superheating it. And then it does look like it's kind of almost missing Puerto Rico and breaking up. Oh, wait, we're going to have another super heated high frequency overload to crash into Puerto Rico. The Dominican Republic. Look at how heated this thing is. So this weekend look how it's going down south then they just bring it right back up so be careful florida be careful be prepared for anything you know if they don't uh if they hang on let me show you what it looks like right now well the 30th okay so Um, okay, that's the end of the loop. They're either going to recharge this or de-energize it. Um... Let's take a look at this thing. This is the 20th of July. The 20th of July, Gonzalo. Okay, so this um, ICS is whatever, is not even around. And all of this cloud crap is manufactured. So let's bring it to the 21st. We still have Gonzalo. And 22nd, it's only Gonzalo. Ah, wow, wait a second. Hardly anything here. And you can do the hours. So let's just bring it up by hour. You see nothing really off the coast of Guinea. Up, oh. whoop. Why? What's there? They would say all the atmospheric conditions for a tropical storm. Really? Well, I don't see much of anything. But the tropical storm is hanging out. It's just hanging out. When are we going to launch it? But do you see these lights? That could be, okay, but check out the lights down here that I believe are from frequencies. So, is this the tropical storm? 23rd at 12. What is this? They still haven't launched it. Uh, you're just seeing pieces of manufactured cl cloud. Just pieces. Ah, now we're going to launch it. Okay. Ah. And you'll, when you go through this, you will see all of the straight-edged shots 
due to extremely low frequencies. Um, no, sorry, this is a manufactured cloud. Um, I guess this entire thing is the storm? What? Really? All of these little pieces? It looks like, you know, it's uh, cotton balls. So, here's your tropical storm. Really? I don't... Oh my god, are we being lied to big time? <laughs> Look at these shots of... Not sure. This is not a natural tropical storm. We're at the 25th. Breaks in two. Nice straight edged shot there. It's pretty much disintegrating. Ah, we're gonna... Well, where is it? I guess this down here. It's truly unbelievable. These two little cotton balls are not natural, manufactured. Ah, we're gonna pull it together somehow. Look at all of the fabulous nanobots in the atmosphere. And 26th. Nice straight edge. These lights here, not natural. Well, kind of looks like it's disintegrating again, but they'll pull it together. That's a nice, clean shot of frequency right in here. Oh, man. So they do. Whoop. Well, look at this. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. I've never understood how outright liars can just lie and not feel anything about it. I really, it, it's, it's always been scary to me because I know, and I've known my entire life, there's always consequences from lies. But this is just pieces of manufactured cloud they're literally putting together. They bring it together. Still, you know, let's just say a tropical storm, natural? Don't think so. So, now they start blowing it up. And this is when we started seeing it go down on satellite. The, uh, I said it was going down south, so it's moving down south. This is the 29th. There they have blown it up. Uh, you got the straight edged signature of extremely low frequencies. That's a frequency hit. And, yep, it's, <laughs> all right. Nice square cloud.
tropical storm that's yeah, touching into South America all the way out into the Atlantic, covering over Puerto Rico, the islands. Here it breaks up again. Nice round manufactured cloud. Again, Mother Nature does not work in perfect uh, lines. This is the right angled signature clearly showing you this is not Mother Nature. She does not work in right angles and uh, perfect lines, perfect uh, circular patterns. There they go, blowing it up, making it bigger and bigger and bigger and little pieces ah, coming together. Okay, we've got it. Yay, I can imagine all of these sick psychopaths. Yay, and clapping, high-fiving. We did it. Oh, maybe not high-fiving. <gasps> They can't do that anymore, right? The handshake, the high five. They might catch coronavirus. Here's the 30th. And it's pretty much uh, at the tail end here in Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, as you saw, a whole herd of cows. All right, I don't know what to say. Just be careful, everybody, please, because they're bringing on destruction now on a scale that we've never seen before. And it won't take a direct hit based on the tracking, but still, will it cause flooding? Probably. <laughs>